Now that we know how to create the three different types of data extensions, standard data extensions, filtered data extensions, and random data extensions, let's look at how to create a data extension from an existing data extension. And we'll do this in Contact Builder. So make sure that you're in Contact Builder by hovering over Audience Builder, clicking Contact Builder, and when you're in Contact Builder, clicking on Data Extensions. Come up to the top right portion of the screen and click Create. And for the creation method, click this dropdown and click Create from Existing. And search for the standard data extension that we created earlier. And the name is going to come in as Copy of, and then whatever your data extension name is here. In my case, it says Copy of Demo Extension. But I'm going to rename this as Demo Extension from Existing. And then we can put an external key and a description here choose the location and choose whether or not it's sendable and then we can choose whether or not it's testable and I'll go ahead and click is testable as well and click next and we can choose our retention settings whether or not we want to delete individual records all records as well as the data extension and all records we can delete it after a certain period of days weeks, months, and years. Or we can choose to reset the retention period upon import. That's only optional if we click all records and data extensions or all records. If we have individual records chosen, we can only delete it after a certain number of days, weeks, months, and years. And then we can choose next, but I'm going to turn the retention settings off and then choose next. And then we have our standard data extension that we created earlier and all of the fields that we created in that standard data extension. But I'm going to add a field here called hobby. So we've got everything we created in an earlier video and then we're just going to add hobby as a field and click complete. And we see demo extension from existing is successfully created and click OK. And then we can search for our demo extension by starting to type in the name and clicking enter and then click on our demo extension from existing. And the first thing that we'll see here is that we have zero records in this data extension. There are no records in this data extension because all we did was we copied from our standard data extension. We didn't pull in any information from that data extension. All we did is we copied from that data extension. So don't expect records to come into this new data extension. All we're doing when we're creating from an existing data extension is we're copying that data extension and creating a new one. So that's how you create a data extension from an existing data extension.